Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to tune a viola. I'm not going to teach you any viola technique. It's just a resource video primarily for parents so that you can better support your student as they learn viola. So um, I'm going to start by just telling you the names of the strings. So turn the viola to face you. Starting from the left, we have our C string, then the G string, the D string, and the A string. All right, when we tune in an orchestra, we usually almost always start with the A string, so we're going to be starting with our A today. I have my app here. This is Sound Corset. It's a free app. I recommend it. Um, it's very easy to use. It has everything that you need. So we're going to start by tuning our A string. First thing I want to make sure is that we see an A here when I pluck my A string. So let's, let's make sure. I'll show you how I pluck the A string now. Here is my viola. I simply place my hand on the side of the black fingerboard and I use my thumb and I use the fleshy part of my thumb. I'm going to pluck my A string and let's see if we see an A here. I'm seeing an A and it's pretty in tune. Now the other thing you want to check is that it's the correct A. In the musical alphabet, there's many A's. It just repeats over and over. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The octaves go higher or lower. So there's many A's. The A that we're looking for is A4. You probably can't see it in your screen here, but my tuner does tell me which A it's hearing when I pluck it. So I'm gonna pluck it again. You'll see my big A here, and I'm gonna double check and make sure that I'm seeing A4 at the top. I am seeing A4, and my A is actually pretty in tune. I'm gonna get a little picky though, just so that I can teach you. The dial here that I have is going ever so slightly to the left, which means my A string is just a smidge flat. So I'm going to tighten it up and be a bit of a perfectionist about it. And I'm going to use my fine tuners down here, which should be on any beginner viola. You should have fine tuners. So making sure that I'm twisting the fine tuner associated with the A string, I'm going to twist to the right, righty tighty or clockwise. And I only need to go a little bit because my A is very in tune. Well, not very, but it's almost perfect. All right, let's see how that, what that did. Okay, let's go a little bit more. And the tuner picks up the pitches in my voice as well, so you want to do this in a quiet place. Ooh. That's great. Now you may also see that the tuner kind of goes A, D, A, D, A, D. Um, if you see A and you see A4, when you pluck your A, you're probably good. The viola is very resonant, um, so when you pluck this A string, the other strings can vibrate too, and it can cause the tuner to pick up um, those pitches. It's actually a good thing. It's what make, makes the viola so resonant, but don't be alarmed if you start seeing A, D, A, D, or when you're playing another, uh, plucking another string, you start seeing something besides something you're going for. If it's consistently not saying A, then you probably need to uh, do some more extreme tuning, but hopefully you're getting an A. I'll show you at the very end what to do if it's way off. Let's move on though to our D string. The, the D that we want is D4. So I'm going to pluck my D string here. Can you see that it's doing like D, G, D, G, D, G? That's because my next string, G, it starts vibrating too. But I am seeing D and I'm seeing D3. I'm sorry, D4. I said D3. I'm seeing D4. Also, whenever you're using a tuner like this and you're looking for that D4, you may see D4 when you first pluck it, but it may shift to D3, um, and that's normal. Just look for the D4 when you initially pluck it. And I see it right there. You can hear how the, the note is still lingering after I pluck it. Hear that lingering? That's when it starts to pick up um, octaves below or above. So you may see D3, but when I first pluck it, I'm seeing that D4 nice and strong. Now, my once again, I'm a little to the left, so I'm going to tighten it up.
pretty good. I'm going to move on to G. We're looking for G3. I'm seeing G3. When the note lingers away, I start to see G2, the octave below. And when I pluck my G, I didn't do it that time, but a few other times it kind of went G, C, G, C. It's picking up vibrations for my G string. It's a very resonant viola, so it, it can do that. See that C there? But I'm playing G. You'll see it when I first pluck it. There's that G. Um, and I believe my G's in tune, right there in the middle. So I don't have to do anything. Let's check my C string. We're looking for C3. Pretty good, but can you see that my dial is now to the right a little bit? It's a bit sharp. And I see C3. I'm going to loosen my fine tuner, lefty loosey, counterclockwise. See if that helps. Very nice. Now, what to do if you pluck your A, for example, and it doesn't say A. It could say B or C. Let's figure out what to do in that instance. I'm going to purposefully um, make my viola out of tune to give you an example. So please don't copy this part. There we go. All right. So where I live, uh, violins go flat or violas go flat very easily. So I'm going to pluck my A now. If I hadn't been tuning my viola every day, this is something that probably could happen and would happen. So let's see what it's reading when I pluck my A string. Do you see that G there? G. Now G in the musical alphabet is right underneath A because remember it goes in a circle. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. My violin has gone so flat, I'm sorry, my viola has gone so flat that I'm now reading a G, which is the note underneath A. So I need to tighten that A string quite a bit to get it back up to A. And remember, I'm looking for A4. So the first thing I wanna do is check my fine tuner, make sure I have some room to twist once I'm done working on my pegs. So I'm gonna look down there. I have some room, but if your fine tuner is all the way to the bottom, then you're gonna to wanna to loosen that so that you have some room to tighten later on. I've got plenty of room, so I'm not gonna loosen my fine tuner at all. You can probably see there, I've got lots of space to tighten, but I am gonna to need to twist my peg to get my A string tight. The pegs are kind of the big jobs. If your string's way out of tune, you're going to need to use the pegs. Now, when I twist my pegs to tighten, I twist away from my face. To loosen, I twist towards my face. My string is flat because it's reading G. If it had been reading B, A, B, then I would have been sharp and I would need to loosen. But I'm over here at G. G, A, B. C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G goes in a circle. So I'm going to twist the peg away from my face and I'm going to push in ever so slightly as I twist. Just a little bit at a time. Don't yank it. A little bit at a time. You don't want to break the string. Just did a tiny bit. Let's see what it says now. Okay, do you see that it's saying A, but there's a little B next to it? That's a flat sign. A flat. That's a note right between G and A. So I did a little bit of tightening. I went from G to A flat. Now I need to get to A. So I'm going to twist and tighten a little bit more. Hey, looky there. I see my A. When I initially pluck, I see that A. It's flat though, so I'm going to tighten with my fine tuner. See if I can get it nice and green in tune. Ooh, I went too far. My dial is now to the right. I'm going to loosen. There we are. Wonderful. Now, if you have a string that's so loose, it's hanging off the instrument, or if multiple strings are not reading initially what they should be, it's not a bad idea to take it into the shop for a good thorough tuning, and then you can use this video every day to keep it up. 
I do recommend tuning every day. The more that you tune, the, the more chance your instrument is going to stay in tune and the faster the tuning will be. All right, I hope this helps. Um, thank you for watching How to Tune a Viola.